Hello, so coming up with a game idea is one thing, but taking that idea and turning it into a game is well hard. And today I wanted to create a video and hopefully simplify this process and increase your chances of turning that wonderful idea you have into that full-fledged game. So subscribe to help other aspiring game developers. Once you have that idea, work on these simple aspects of the game first. Or in other words, work on what you're good at. If you're an artist, then make the main scene art, then make the player art, put them together and see how they look. Or if you're better at development, then develop some of the basic features and see how they work together in a simple prototype. But you need to start somewhere, and instead of figuring out where to start, just start. Now remember, you may finish this prototype weeks down the line, but you have to focus on not rushing. The game won't be finished tomorrow, and every mechanic needs to be well thought out so everything comes together exactly how you want it to in the end. But once you finish this prototype, you need to grab a paper and create a plan. What can I add next? What does this prototype need to make it better? But ask yourself questions like this and understand what is going to make that game into the game that you envisioned in your head when you thought about the idea. Okay, so storytelling. Everyone knows that in almost every game, the storytelling is one of the aspects that make those big games so enjoyable. Whether it's a complex story like Red Dead built by a team of 2000, or a simple relaxing but still really good story built by just one guy, like we see in Stardew Valley. The story is important and this is again something that needs to be planned and well thought out. Well, grab a basic story plot chart and plan the major events. To zoom in and break it down more, open up a word doc and jot down events that need to occur to make the e-story more entertaining for the player. Fill in a couple blanks on the basic plot chart and, well, boom, the base of your story. Don't be afraid to get feedback and see what others think of this and don't ever be afraid to change it up. This will be changed, of course, at some point later down the road to fit how the game is coming together. Never stop thinking about the story, but don't overthink because always remember you can move things around in the end and I'm sure it will come out exactly how you want it to. Okay, so again, you cannot be afraid to ask for help. I repeat, you cannot be afraid to ask for help. A lot of people are afraid and well, we're in the day and age with the wonderful thing called the internet where we can get any information at our fingertips. If you need anything Godot related or anything related really, then it's just one Google search away. If you are stuck, then ask, whether this is from someone on Reddit, Discord, but if you wanna ask me anything, then feel free in the comments of any video and I'll be sure to get back to you to help you to the best of my abilities. Also, always be open to learn new ways to go about things. You can always improve your game dev skills and learning or observing how others go about things might just be one of the most beneficial ways to improve your own skills. So basically, don't be afraid to ask for help and always be open to learning new things from others. Okay, so this is basic, but organization. Everybody knows how important organization is, but nobody really explains it or knows how to stay organized. And yes, like you've heard before, this and consistency might be the most important things to finishing your projects. I've created a complete video on organization during game dev, so you can check that out right here. But for this video, I'll just keep it simple and tell you that I recommend creating a Trello board. Some use Notion or some other organization app, but I believe Trello is hands down the best for having a to-do list for game development, as you can create cards and break those cards down into tasks. Remember, don't work on too much at once. Finish a task and move on. Don't get stuck on the task for weeks and weeks and weeks. Because remember, you can always come back and you can always tweak it, but never ever work on more than one task at once. And lastly, you need to analyze. If you play video games, don't just play to play, but play to analyze. Well, this is gonna take away from the gaming experience. And well, it could, but it doesn't have to at all. Just play said game as you usually would, but try and understand how the game is put together. Why did the developer create this in this way? And if you end up finding something that would look amazing in your game, then write it down and come back to it when you are developing. Overall, just stay consistent, always learn, plan well, organize, don't rush, and never ever be afraid to ask for help. Hope you were able to find something helpful in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you need any help within the Godot engine, then please let me know. Until next time, stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.